Hi, my name is Tony Ann if it's your first time here and I hope you enjoy this video I forgot I filmed. <laughs> Alright, so starting with the brows and just taming my hairs. What do you guys think of the new camera? So I can do super zoomed in. I'm going in with a 24 hour brow setter and just taming my brows. They need help, some TLC. I'm coming, boo. <laughs> and then I'm using the Precisely My Brow in four and just applying hair strokes and carving out my brows before I conceal with the Born This Way Concealer in Chestnut and then I carve out the top of my brows using the Fenty Beauty Longwear Foundation in 420 And then I go back in with the Precisely My Brow just to redefine. It's really because obviously my brows need doing, so. And every little helps. And then go back into the primer. And I use Smashbox Primerizer because I have dry, dehydrated skin. So anywhere I can get moisture, I shall. Before I go into the NYX Conceal and Correct and Color Correct. I don't usually use this much but when I'm using my fingers I use a lot more because it shares it out before I conceal is it just me or like the super coverage is not working anymore I need extra help before I contour using the dark color in a NYX correct conceal and contour palette <laughs> a lot of words Then I blend out the concealer into the contour. Everything will look a bit more seamless. Just trust the process. <laughs> and I do a wonky line on my nose. Just highlighting my nose and I'm blending that out up into my forehead. before going back into the same brush I used to contour and just trying to contour my nose you can't really see it too well because my lights were too bright but I do turn them down <laughs> next I'm going into my foundation and just applying that everywhere I start with my chin which is my problem area if you can't tell because it needs the most coverage and then I'm just filling and blending everything together using my foundation. This is a medium to full coverage so you can build it up a bit more but I like to keep it more skin like as much as I can. Then I go into the Fenty Beauty concealer in 385 this is just to brighten I've really liked adding this as a new stage just to give me some extra help and the overall look I think looks a lot better now that I've changed the way I do my bronzer which you shall see later and then I just set using my banana deep powder I know I look very pale but it comes together it does <laughs> I then go into um, the concealer and just carve out my nose and blend it out before it's time to bronze using my Makeup Revolution bronzer in dark and now I've been applying it where the sun hits you I heard a makeup artist say it and it really does make a difference to your face like you generally see the bronzing now rather than just applying it the same place as your contour because that defeats the purpose and then get a smaller brush and just carve out the sides of my nose I couldn't see what I was doing so I put my glasses on <laughs> I 
I then use the bronzer, the bigger brush, just to soften so I don't have the big lines on my face. Yeah, but I really would recommend the bronzer um, changing the placement of it. It really does redefine your face. And I think the overall look is just a lot better. I then went in with a little bit of my banana deep powder in the middle of my nose and the sides just to help with the definition. I'm not the best at contouring, but this is how I do it right now. So if anyone has any tips, then let me know. I'm always willing to learn. I'm just now setting my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I saw a tweet that said um, <laughs> setting spray won't hurt, help um, badly applied makeup. So just apply it correctly, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, now my camera won't focus. But I did change the lighting so you can actually see my face a bit better. Hope so. And then went into my black opal finishing powder in dark. It just gives like a completion to the look. Like I feel like it just looks so much better with it. Before I go into um, Tammy's face palette with Makeup Revolution and use my Good Judy Tropical Queen and just add the blush. Like look how much better that looks now that the bronzer is in the correct place it's just sitting not just rounding by itself but sitting in the look yes and then i highlighted with a matte blush in telling glow i don't know who's blushing <laughs> blushing who's using blush this um sparkly but not me not my texture no ma'am moving on to the eyes i'm just gonna recreate a look that I did that I didn't film that I really liked and because I'm doing it after my foundation I put a bit of my setting powder down just so I don't get anything on my face yeah so that was the look I'm trying to recreate but in green for the daytime yeah so I went into the sample beauty painters palette and I'm using Ibiza, Ibiza and Cottage. I'm just gonna smoke it out. I'm just, yeah, it's a smoky liner. That like is such, it's so simple, but it looks so good. And another way you can get like the end to look a bit like, you know, smoky, is just to use your finger and like brush it out with your finger if that makes sense to swipe it instead of using the brush and I connected it to the bottom lash line before going into cottage and just using that to blend if I had gone in with a lighter green it would give that ombre effect but that's not what I was going for so it's just to give it the real smoky blend and I think it came out quite nice if I do say so myself but as you can see, it's not the neatest. So <laughs> I'll show you what to do. This is why I usually do these things first, but I really wanted to get the base on camera. So I went into my Fenty um, concealer and I'm using a small brush and just correcting the look so you get that true smoky effect it's just neat I use my fingers to blend it out simply because I knew I was gonna go back into the brush and make it look nice did the other eye off camera then I went into the carnival love Tahiti palette I used Tahiti green I wish the sample beauty palette had other colored shimmers but you know so going to lips I'm using a chestnut lip liner I use the MAC X Tiana Taylor one and I'm just covering the majority of my mouth with that my mouth my lips 
<laughs> and then I go into a good Judy again, my MAC X Patricia um, Bright lipstick. Before I go into Impulsive to do the light ombre, and just to brighten, I went into the green lipstick in the Tiana Taylor collection. I'll put the name at the bottom. For going back into Chestnut, a slight final definition and blend it all. Last but not least, I went into the Doll Beauty Lash in Leo. And then here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>